Hello, welcome to AM Sports. I am Muftar Nabila Abdullah. After a poor start to Ghana's campaign in the ongoing Shan tournament in Nigeria, coach of the team, Anawoka, has assured Ghanaians of his players' readiness for the crucial clash against Sudan on a Thursday. Ghana lost their opener after suffering a 2 1 loss at the hands of debutants in Madagascar on Sunday. It is now a make or break tie in the second group match against Sudan. Walker believes his side will rise up to the occasion. Uh, they were not a better side than uh, we do. Seriously, they were even afraid of us um, from the way their coach spoke our, at the pre match. Um, I realized he is even afraid of us. But because we did not play the way we normally play, that caused us and uh, people saw they were better or they played better than we do. But if you uh, correct, you can see from this second half, we were better off than, than them. Just that we could not take our chances and they squandered the chances also that came on our way. So, we were better than them. If you were to be here, you see the attitude and the reaction of my players. They were very down, down, not, uh, but by losing the game, they are all down and they are worried and they did not understand why they should lose a match against no other team than Madagascar. We just finished a meeting uh, together with them. The technical and the players had a meeting. And in fact, I have to ask them some questions which they answered. And uh, I could see how serious they are, how ready they are for the Thursday's game. Because uh, they know if they don't win, or they are not able to win on Thursday, then it will be a blow for them and uh, they will disappoint the whole Ghanaians. So they are ready. The attitude is going to be different on Thursday. To the Ghana Premier League and Asante Kodoko have extended their winless run to four matches after playing out a one-all stalemate against Bibiani Gold Stars. It was an opportunity missed to go level in points with league leaders, the Diana Stars, as they now trail them by two points. Yeah, and just when they were building momentum, trying to create an opportunity. It's now an opportunity. Dexter Mokwala rounds up goalkeeper Joba. Goal number one. The Porcupines are in the lead. This is dazzling. Amazing goal from the Ugandan. It was goal stars who were probing, and when Kotoko got onto the ball, one, two, quick passing, and Richard Boedu with the pass. And just when Emperor Da Costa slipped, he knows here he can run the goalkeeper. Did very well, strong in that play, and that they have nothing to lose. The BNE goal stars. All they need to do is to put the back line of Kotoko under pressure. Was a push there, yes. Handball situation clearly indicated by the referee Franklin. Wait, the referee Akumate from the throw in here. Since the law was just going in, I just can't see the handball. The throw in from Odai, the header from La. And here, yes, ah. yes, yes. I understand they're very good friends too. Here he goes one, two, three. Asari saves the day, but couldn't save the second opportunity. Headed on by La, through the middle, player goes down and it's a penalty. La with a flick on header. Genfi racing for the ball. Yeah, was... His chances from the penalty spot. Asari has got it right once again. This time he pushed it out of play. For a corner kick. Yeah, this is why he has been Kotoko's best player in the last seven matches. Super stop. It's a Superman save from the young goalie. Another poor penalty. 
because he has said it all. Well, in this contest between Asante Kotoko and Bibiane Gold Stars, there were people who swung to the Bibiane Gold Stars Stadium, which is called uh, Dunn Park, to watch that contest. However, in many league centers, patronage of Ghana Premier League continues to be on the low. Uh, our colleagues at Insura FM started a campaign uh, dubbed Field GPL Centers. Chairman of the Ghana League Clubs Association, Kujo Fiano, who held a meeting with the Ministry of Youth and Sports and other stakeholders within the game to ensure that uh, fans uh, patronize Ghana football, says that it is important everyone within the football industry contributes to the success of the country's domestic football. If we can pick a player and make him the local artist even, or make a player, the local kudus, give them that prominence, people will want to go and see them. You see? So it should be a concerted effort. We should all, if we want, this is a topic that we, we this period cannot, can, can, cannot contain. Mm. I played in Pando, Ashgold. We played in Pando. We beat out of Lions 2-0. Once we were driving out of the stadium, I first saw a gentleman who signaled our bus to stop. He stopped. They boarded the bus and they said, look, we are Kotoko supporters living in Pando. The mere fact that you've come from Ibuasi to discipline this troublesome club for us, take this for transport, for, for refreshment. You can imagine if it were Kotoko. So the interest is there. Let us reach out to them. You are coming to Pando to play. Get your circle in Pando to be involved in the match organization. They will continue and come to the stadium. So that is key. This management and supporters leadership relationship, we need to work on it. If we work on it, the resources are there for, for, for all of us uh, to get. Let us get the, we can, we can build the Shamukwes locally. We can build the Joe uh, Debres locally. You still go to the stadium and as he said, the talents are there. Let us give about quarter the time we spend on these uh, foreign guys. Ha Suarez, he says he will not come to Ghana because he's afraid of his life. <laughs> but we spend time trumpeting him. Look at the, uh, the mileage you gave him before Ghana played Uruguay. As if he was coming to, he was the only player who was coming to meet Ghana. You see, so a concerted effort, the media, I will continue to plead with you. We are in together. And if we uh -huh. give this project the necessary push, we'll get our people at the stadium. We are in this together, and um, everyone has a role to ensure that people patronize Ghana football. Uh, let's do some transfer news concerning some Ghanaian players. Midfielder Elijah Owusu, who played. Uh, the, uh, the just ended FIFA World Cup, which took place in Qatar, has completed a move to French side AJ Oxer from Belgian side Genk. The defensive midfielder signed a two and a half year deal with a newly promoted side, which will see him to be at a club until 2025. He returns to France, having left in 2019 uh, to join Genk from Lyon. And also, Black Star swinger Kamal Din Suleiman. He's open to leaving Stade Rennes in the, uh, in the ongoing general transfer window. The 20 year old has seen his minutes reduced drastically this season after slipping down the pecking order uh, the last couple of months. The winger is, however, not short of suitors, with Everton reportedly exploring a loan deal with a clause to make the move permanent in the summer. Oxford and Bunmat have also inquired about the availability of. Suleiman and uh, the situation, which appears to be a bit desperate, could see him leave this man to seek regular game time elsewhere. <coughs> Let's sign out with some, some interesting staff from the athletics field and general secretary of the Ghana Athletics Association. He has been appointed as a chief executive officer of the Confederation of Africa Athletics Region 2. 
That is your AM Sports for now, but we do have some more sports stories on myjoyonline.com. We appreciate your company with us this morning.